Hey, I'm Paul Begay, AST Systems Designer. So we're gonna be looking at the skid mounted bubble bead filtration system. This is uh, 4,000, 6,000. So that means that it either has two or three cubic feet of standard media uh, in it. Um, and the configuration here is called the pump assisted backwash, PAB, all right? So I'm gonna go over just a few things on the skid system and then we're gonna do a demo of how the pump assisted backwash actually operates, all right? So we've got our bead filter, we've got our air inlet assembly, all right? Um, we've got our 40 watt UV sterilizer over here and our uh, eighth horsepower water pump. All right, now this plumbing here with these three-way valves are specific to our pump-assisted backwash, all right? So before we talk about that, water is coming in from this tub here. It is coming into the pump. It is coming out of the pump, going this way, back down and into the bottom of the bead filter, flowing up through the washing throat here coming up through the beads, leaving, coming down to the UV sterilizer, coming back up and out of the top of the UV sterilizer, and there, there's our return flow there, all right? So when I want to backwash, first of all, I'll see a couple of indicators. Maybe the PSI has gone from normal operating pressure up two or three pounds. So I'll say maybe my beads are clogged a little bit. So let me do a backwash, all right? Now, it's important to note that this valve here on your air inlet is gonna be open all the time, all right? Because this is a one-way valve that closes, all right? So, if this is not open during your pump-assisted backwash, this must be open, okay? This is the first thing that must be open, all right? So, with this small valve being open, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this valve first, 180 degrees, then I'm gonna turn this valve second. What that's gonna do is that's going to change the flow. Instead of pulling water from this tank here, it's gonna start pulling water through the bottom of the bead filter, pulling that water down. A one-way valve is gonna close here. This one-way valve is going to open. There's gonna be a really strong air in right here because of this vigorous drain, all right? So, let's do it, all right? So I'm gonna open this valve here. Now, if we look over here, all of our flow is now coming from the bead filter and then draining, pulling, much more vigorous backwash. All right, much quicker, much more vigorous. And all of the water that was inside of the bead filter, all that sludge that you've generated, is now going inside of this right here, okay? So that could go down the drain, wherever you need it to go, okay? So once I'm finished, and again, I've got a real strong vacuum right here, okay? This is sucking air in really, really strong. My finger's getting stuck on there, okay? So now that finished up, so I'm going to turn my valves back to the starting position, leaving this one open. My self-priming pump, is going to be repriming, and it's gonna take maybe 15, 20 seconds prior to uh, the pump priming, sending water back inside of the filter. And then again, we're filling back up, clean water coming out, going back through our UV, and returning to our tank, okay? So let's hang out for a second and watch that happen, all right? It's important to note that this filter uh, uh, when it's skid mounted like this, um, we've got clearance for uh, pallet jacks, so this can be moved around to multiple uh, types of systems. Um, for recirculating aquaculture systems, seafood holding systems, um, aquaponic systems, there are a lot of options for this, uh, this system, okay? This comes pre-plumbed. All right, my pump is now primed. And here's my return water right here, okay? So that whole process maybe takes a couple of minutes to do, um, but it's, uh, it's the bubble bead backwash plus, right? It's called the 
pump assisted backwash. So stay tuned for more videos to come. Thanks so much.